Welcome everyone to another video brought to you by Scotchboy92. This is another clan request video, and this is my to basically sort of like do a little rant and a little discussion about the Old Republic. Now I did do a video a wee while ago on my thoughts of the Old Republic. I'll leave a wee annotation above for you if you want to go check that out. But the main thing that kind of I do have some pet bits that do fucking piss me the fuck off about the Old Republic, and it is I will say them here. I will say the negatives, even though I absolutely love Bioware, I can give negatives about it as well. Now, Bioware, in my opinion, are still the best game developers out there for role-playing games, and I don't want to judge the old public right now until either, one, I've played it, or two, I've seen some gameplay props, a full playthrough of it or something. I don't intend to get it, unfortunately, because my computer's not good enough, and I'm not a big online player, and bad, even with games like Halo fucking Reach, I don't even play the online that often. I played it maybe a couple of times and then I just say fuck it, I give up on this moment in the next game. So I'm probably not gonna get it, but the thing that kinda of pisses me off the most is they didn't port it to Xbox 360. Now I say this in my other video I think. I'm not having this on I actually haven't watched it in a wee bit. But I did say this. I would love it if maybe Bioware offered a single player option in the game. Or even have two different versions of the game. One for massively multiplayer online and maybe another for um Role playing games, or even if they couldn't like port the massively multiplayer online game or MMO onto the Xbox, they should have just made an entire version for it for the Xbox, maybe. Maybe, uh, but then a lot of people say, oh, but PC never got it, we just got the MMO. Maybe they should have just made the whole game, you have an option at the start of the game, do you want to continue, do you want to play as an MMO, or do you want to play as a single player game, and give you a chance to continue the story of KOTOR. Now, if you don't know what KOTOR is, it's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, which was made by Bioware, and in my opinion, is the best Star Wars game out there. It has nothing to do with the films, it is its own story, and there was a KOTOR 2, but it wasn't made by Bioware, and I did play it, and it was utter horseshit. I didn't like the story in it, I got halfway through it, and the story just made no sense, and I just went, you know what, fuck it, I give up, and I traded it in. And it just, it's so... It kind of pissed me off that they're not giving the Xboxes because I'm not I don't I'm not a big PC gamer. I've only I, the only games I play on my PC are Kotor, Solitaire, and occasionally maybe an old game like Never Went on Nights or something. I just grab it, put it on my computer, play it for a couple of days, and any time I get bored, I just pop on it and play it if I can't get on my Xbox. But I'm an Xboxer. I love the consoles. I like my joypad, and I know I can get a joypad on my laptop. But I don't have a proper graphics card, so I can't get all the latest games. I don't even have a graphics card, actually. I don't even think this is, a, this is a, my laptop that I'm recording this on. I had a fucking basic lap one. But I, they, I know they can date MMOs on the Xbox Series because Marvel are coming out with their own massively multiplayer online game that is going to be on Xbox and PC. And I don't know if this is true or not. This is a rumour I heard, but apparently on it, it's going to be a free MMO, MMORPG. And if it's free to play online with it, because the Xbox, you have to pay to be on Xbox Live. And I don't mind paying. I personally don't mind. I pay my, a yearly fee. I don't mind it. Not a monthly fee. I prefer yearly, and if I can't get it, I don't need to get it. So, given the chance, I might pick up maybe the Marvel MMO because it's going to give me a chance to give a, give a good try the massively multiplayer online games. The only massively, only MMO I've ever fucking played was World of Warcraft. I played the fuck, I played 20 minutes of the trial and I fucking hated it. I personally think WoW sucks. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate out there, but I'll, I'll be perfectly fucking honest. I think WoW sucks. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not a big MMO RPG. This is my honest opinion. WoW looks, visually, WoW looks amazing. I'll give it that. But as for a game, I don't like it. I'm not a big online gamer. There are millions of you out there who have probably played WoW on a daily basis. And I'm like, you, it's you, you want to play the game, go ahead. I just don't like it. I personally think WoW sucks. And I know I'm probably going to get like a million dislikes and taking eight fucking thousand death threats or something from WoW fanboys and nut jobs out there, but I don't really care. This is my honest opinion. So, I don't care. But, back to the Old Republic. The Old Republic could possibly be a new innovation. It's the first Star Wars massively multiplayer online, to my knowledge. But I would just like the opportunity, even if, maybe in about a year, I might upgrade my PC enough to play the Old Republic, and I might give it a try for a month. And then maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. I'm not going to judge the game like 
that just because it's an online multiplayer game. It could be absolutely outstanding because Bioware, so far, every game I've played from Bioware has been absolutely outstanding. Never, none of their games have ever let me down, except for Dragon Age 2, which was a wee bit naff at the ending. I didn't like the ending, but as a game, it was still fucking amazing. But, a lot of people will probably say, oh, I'm not picking this because Bioware are going to forget the role-playing part, parts of the game because they have to go massively multiplayer online role-playing game style. Bioware won't. Bioware are trying to do innovation. I understand, but I think the Old Republic has been in the works for like seven, five years or something, but they've, they keep revamping it and changing it. She's eventually it's going to end up becoming the Duke Nukem Forever of, of the MMO. If you don't get that reference, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I just, it I would like the chance if they could maybe port it to the Xbox 360, or even if it gets popular on the PC in a few months afterwards, if they just made a single, a little a proper sequel to KOTOR, done by Bioware, on the modern day, with the new innovations they've got. Cause KOTOR still today has amazing graphics, for its time, and it's, even though it's not as good as other ones, as, even though we've evolved into newer graphics, KOTOR graphics are still absolutely brilliant for me, I love them, and I would love to see it evolved into the modern age, I would love to see another KOTOR, but the odds are we probably won't, because Bioware will concentrate on the old Republic more, and I hate to say it, but they've got a lot to compete with. Um, they've got uh, Diablo 3, I think, and WoW, and some other online multiplayer games, math MMOs. They've got a lot to compete with, but there will be a lot of Bioware fans who will go to them and give it a try. And I don't know, it might skyrocket. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to judge the game until either one, I play it, or two, I actually see it. See it with my own eyes, the full thing, with my own eyes. Not clips, not gameplay footage, but properly with my own eyes. So I'm not going to judge this game harshly just because it's a massively an MMO. I will wait, but I would like if they at least given us something on Xbox or on PS3, depending on who you are. I'm just an Xbox, I've got an Xbox, I don't have a PS3. But if they'd had an Xbox version of it or something, even if they had just released like uh, I don't know, maybe an Xbox 360 uh, exclusive or something where it was basically uh, Koto Knights of the Star Wars The Old Republic, just not online, a full-fledged single-player Star Wars role-playing game, because let's face it, there haven't been any great Star Wars games besides KOTOR. Even though some people will go, oh, but what about this game, what about this game, what about this game? I've only played KOTOR, so this is my opinion. So. It's just absolutely stupid that they're not going to give the, the, the basically the Xbox or the PS3 a chance to play this game. Now a lot of you will say, but it's, but the, the MMOs are exclusively for PC for one main reason, the networking code, they can be constantly patched. Fair enough, I can give you that, but they, they could have at least tried, but I, it kind of a fuck, it just fucking annoys me that I'm not going to get the chance very, very, a very some chance that I will get a chance to play the Old Republic, or even the the sequel to one of my favourite PC games, and it's going to be tough to take. I'll have to wait and see. If I do get a chance to play it, I'll let you know. But as for right this minute, I highly doubt I'll be playing it because I see Bio Bioware stuck to stick to their strength and take risks. I will give them that. They have never strayed off from their role-playing games, and they still haven't with, with the Old Republic. They've just gone MMO. But the only problem is, the MMO needs one thing. It needs replayability. And, of course, WoW got that in a nutshell. People just play that constantly on a daily basis, leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. Quest, quest, quest. Spending thousands upon thousands of pounds, dollars, euros, pesetos, gold drachmas, whatever the fuck they're spending on it to play a game over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I, I don't see the point in that. We'll have to, I'll have to wait and see. I don't want to judge it too harshly. I don't, it's just, it kind of pisses me off that I'm not going to get a chance to play the sequel to KOTOR. It's unlikely that I will. And if any clan members out there are going to get the chance to play it, please t let me know and let me know your thoughts. And maybe I'll do a collab video and you can give me the details and the, the juice about it. But we'll have to wait and see. I don't want to judge the older public until either one, I've played it, or two, I've seen proper full-fledged gameplay footage. 
But as I said, I, I probably won't be picking it up for the main reason I'm not an online gamer. I'm not I'm, I'm not one of these people that sit and play the same game over and over again online. Like I don't play uh, WoW. I never I played 20 minutes of it in the trial version and I hated it. I, I never played Diablo. I've never played. Well, sorry, I have played Call of Duty, but I hate the fucking online on it. It's just t too repetitive. If you want a game to keep coming back and wanting me to go back to it, it has to have a good story. That's the only thing I want, and different versions of the story to play through. So we'll have to wait and see what the Old Republic holds for us. I don't know, I really... It kind of pisses me off that I'm not going to get a chance to play play the sequel to KOTOR, because this is kind of what it is, because there is a, a Revan Temple, and if you don't know who Revan is, he's the he was the Dark Lord of the Sith and KOTOR before your character starts the game. And I don't want to spoil anything for that. But it's just, it kind of really annoys me. I'm not going to get the chance to play it. And Bioware... I know you've got bye bye with any representative of bio or watching it. Please correct me if you are putting on Xbox because I don't know to my knowledge it's going to be on PC. I just really would love the chance to play this game on Xbox. Or even if they just released a single player version of the game for Xbox and PC and all that. Because I think that even if they'd like released a single player version of the game and then released the MMO, if you bought the if you had the single player if you bought the single player, you got a coupon code or something that allows you to get like 20, 50% or 20% off uh, the chance to play uh, the Old Republic online. Something like that. So no game developer could do that. I, I hope they could do that. Make a game a single player game, but also have the ability to go online. And play it as a full-fledged online game. I just don't like the fact that these MMOs, you have to pay to play them. You have to pay a monthly fee to play them. I would happily pick an MMO RPG up if I didn't have to pay a monthly fee. So I pay, only fee I pay to get online is my Xbox Live and I pay that once a year. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. I, I could do a whole video on what I think of MMORPGs, but this is the Old Republic and this is why I think. I just really am a bit pissed off that I'm not going to get a chance to play the game, the sequel to the game that got me into RPGs. I'm a bit pissed off. And I could fucking shout and rant about it all day, but let me know what the clan thinks. Feel free to Comment down below and tell me what you think. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you agree with what I said, please don't hesitate to click that thumbs up button. If you don't agree with what I said and you don't want to leave a comment, click the thumbs down button. And as always, if you want to join the clan, feel free to click, click, click that subscribe button up above my head and join the clan today and we will continue to grow. As always, I'm Scottish Warning 2 and I'll see you all later. Mwah.